Hello friends, today we are going to talk about something which is very simple and easy to understand. Yes, it is inheritance. Simple parent class, child class relationship, right? But if you are creating a project from scratch, then how you will decide when to create the base class and put the methods over there and when you should not use inheritance, which type of inheritance you should use. So in today's video, we will cover all the possible questions from inheritance. Alright, so first one by one, we will clear all our basic concepts about the inheritance and then at the end of the video, I will tell you that if you are working alone in a project and you have to develop the project from scratch, then when you will decide that, okay, now I need a base or parent class, so let's create one. But before that, let's clear or if you already know, then also revise the basics. Okay, so let's go through the questions one by one. Here is a very good question. What is inheritance? When to use inheritance? As always, let's see the code example first. Here, employee is a parent class. Okay, remember base class, parent class and super class are same things. Do not get confused by their different names. Okay, then we have this permanent employee class, which is a child class. Again, derived child and subclasses are same things. Now notice that permanent employee class do not have any method or property inside it. But still, when we will create the object of the permanent employee class inside this main method here, here permanent employee object is automatically getting this calculate salary method and it is not giving error. So it is saying that calculate salary method is the part of this permanent employee class object. So how is it possible? That is possible because of inheritance. Because calculate salary is there in the employee class and employee class is the parent class of permanent employee class, right? So that is inheritance. Even though permanent employee do not have any method, but it will get the method from its parent employee class and use it. So the definition is inheritance is creating a parent child relationship between two classes where child class will automatically get the properties and methods of the parent. Now the next part is why inheritance is an important concept in software applications. The answer is simple inheritance is good for reusability and abstraction of code. For example, Suppose if tomorrow you get a new type of employee and that is contract employee, then you can again derive from the same base class employee for getting the base class methods and properties. So you are basically at the same place uh, with one piece of code, you are using it at two places, two derived classes. If you will not use inheritance, then you have to remove this base class. If you are not using this employee base class, then what will happen? you have to write all these methods and properties inside both permanent employee and contract employee class, which is basically like a duplication of code only, right? So basically we are reusing one method at two places by using the inheritance concept. This is the main advantage of inheritance, which you, you, can, you can use in your application. What are the different type of inheritance? This is a very important question from interview point of view. So let's explore this and compare them side by side. First type of inheritance is single inheritance. You can see this is the simplest one, one base class and one child class only. See, this is the code here. We have one base class, which is derived in one derived class. Very simple, no explanation needed, right? Second type of inheritance is multiple inheritance. This uh, inheritance is very important because many questions are asked about this multiple inheritance. In this case, multiple base classes will be there. Now remember in C sharp, multiple inheritance is not possible. One derived class cannot have multiple base classes. Okay, this is not possible. But yes, there is an alternative way. The alternative way is you can use multiple interfaces to achieve multiple inheritance, okay? Which means only one base class or abstract class is allowed and rest must be like interfaces, like multiple interfaces you can use. See the code here, we have one base class and one interface. And in derived, 
it has two parents one is base class 2 and another one is interface i2 if i will replace i2 with some other base class it is not possible okay but if i will add more interfaces like i3 i4 then it is completely fine so this is the multiple in inheritance explanation next type of inheritance we have is multi level inheritance here one derived class is derived from the base class okay and then this derived class is the parent of another derived class like this uh, let me show you the code example if you are not clear see it's very simple we have one base class 3 which is derived in a derived class 3 and then this derived class 3 is the parent of derived class 4 so at the end the derived class 4 will automatically get the properties and methods of both base class 3 and derived class 3 okay this is like a father is getting money from grandfather and son is getting money from both father and grandfather okay so it's this is like a grandfather father and son kind of relationship okay now the last one is hierarchical inheritance in this one base class is derived from more than one like is a one base class sorry is derived in more than one child class see the code base 4 is derived in derived class 5 and also in derived class 6 now this is the most used type of inheritance because normally in projects we have one base class and multiple derived class so this hierarchical inheritance uh, we normally use in multiple projects in many many projects okay now again just the reminder base parent and super class are same and child derived and subclasses are same the name are, uh, is different but the thing is same so these are the different types of inheritance which are asked in many interviews and these are we have in our c sharp programming how to prevent a class from being inherited now this is a tricky question and in many interviews this question has been asked the simple answer is by using sealed keyword in base class if you will mark some class as sealed then you cannot then inherit that class okay see the code here uh, you mark the base uh, the employee class as sealed now when you will try to derive this class in a child class permanent employee then dot net framework will give a compiler uh, error okay because employees mark as sealed and therefore you cannot inherit from uh, this class here you can see the error permanent deploy cannot derive from sealed type employee now this is a normal answer which most uh, candidates give in the interviews now to create an impression uh, um, uh, like extra impression in interview you can also say that uh, you can prevent a class from being inherited by using static keyword in the base class also this is an another way okay and here is the key, uh, code same as sealed class you cannot inherit a static class also now what's the difference then uh, like uh, if both are doing the same thing then why they both exist means only one can exist and uh, we uh, the problem is solved the difference between sealed class and static class is you cannot create the object of the static class but yes you can create the object of the sealed class sealed class you cannot inherit but create the object okay so now so you have to use the keyword as uh, based on your requirement if you need the object then uh, use sealed keyword and if you do not need the object you do not need in inheritance then use a static class so that is the answer of this question great great you did a great job so now you know when to use inheritance in real application right one line answer is when you when you have two classes are there okay and they are sharing some common method then create the base class and put that method method over there okay that is the answer now the next question is when not to use inheritance suppose you are working in a employee management system project okay and you have two classes uh, one is permanent employee and another one is contractual employee class and then you have the base class employee where you will put you are going to put one method called calculate bonus in the base class now we know employees rarely get bonuses right especially in it or software fields 
there are no bonuses so neither permanent employee nor contractual employee will use this method maybe permanent employee class may use uh, calculate bonus method sometimes uh, then you can keep this method inside the permanent employee class only do not put this method inside the base class or do not create the base class just for this method so that's it that's the answer of these questions i hope you liked the video and if not then no problem i have given many interviews and when i am not uh, when i got rejected then i never give up so there is another opportunity another interviews another day and another video see you in the next video till then all the best for your career